I found this location the other day when I was out walking and I thought it was absolutely stunning. And given the right conditions, this is gonna be an epic location. I'm sure of it. I really am sure of it. It's lovely and I saw it as a panoramic and that's what I'm gonna do this morning. So I'm doing this uh, just as a bit of a, a scouting photo. It would have been lovely to have had some mist. Um, and when I looked at the weather forecast, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen this morning. but. It clouded over last night and the conditions uh, that I really wanted just didn't happen. But it doesn't matter because it's a beautiful location. I'm in the middle of this stunning forest. I'm out for the day and uh, yeah, it's fantastic. So yeah, let me do this. I'll talk you through um, this panoramic. I'm starting on the left hand side of the scene and I'm going to sweep through to the right. I'm looking for about a 25 to 50% overlap in each image just to make sure I capture everything in there. Settings wise, I'm, uh, I'm on uh, sort of 0.5 of a second, F11, 100 ISO and I'm on manual focus and I've focused about a third into the scene to try and maximise my depth of field. This is a, a lovely scene with loads of depth, loads of lovely texture. And so, yeah, I want to retain that depth of field so, I, so you can see through the trees and, and beyond. So that's what I'm looking for. One of the top tips I would say is to shoot a little bit wider than you would normally. Um, you know, have a look at your scene decide on what you want and then just tweak it, make it a little bit wider because when you take those images into the software to stitch that panoramic together, you'll find that uh, a little bit is always cropped off anyway. So always go a little bit wider, a little bit looser in the shot. Also, the first thing I would do is just as I'm, I'm framed up, ready to go, put my hand over the lens, take a shot of my hand and then at the end of the panoramic do the same again that way when you uh, import those images you can see you've bookmarked you've bookended uh, the images that are your panoramic shots and uh, that way you can easily identify all of those shots they are the images that I want to make my panoramic with okay let's make a start Double check my focus. Okay, that's good. Let's do it. There we are, panoramic done. Um, 
Do you know, I've been wandering around now for a good three hours, nearly four hours since I arrived here this morning. And uh, it's been great just having a look around this place. <coughs> There's so much of it. It's incredible. Um, but again, it's very hard to kind of see those compositions and, uh, you know, it, and make sense of the, the chaos that's out there in front of you. And uh, when I was looking into doing a bit of woodland photography, I mean, I do a lot of landscape, normal landscape, but I haven't done much woodland. Uh, yeah, I looked at Simon Baxter. He's got a great YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it somewhere. And he's got some amazing images. His ability to see through the clutter and the chaos and find those compositions uh, is second to none. And uh, so hopefully I'm learning from that and I can really get a feel for what's here in the forest. So when the conditions are right and uh, autumn has really taken hold, then hopefully I can come back and, and get some great images. But for now, I'll carry on with this one. I think this is quite nice. It's one of those ones that's quite nice and soft in texture and it's still got depth to it. And I'm quite pleased with that. So I've got a couple of these small silver birch trees just on the left. And then there's a few more in the distance that they go back and the leaves and the grass and, and everything else give it this lovely soft texture. And I'm hoping that come autumn, when all this is lovely and brown, you can probably see a little bit more of the trees. I think it'll look really nice, but uh, let me take this recce shot now, um, mark it on my map so I know where it is. That's kind of what I've been doing. And uh, yeah, and then I can come back to it. Okay, let me talk you through what I've got settings wise. Uh, I'm shooting 40th of a second f11 100 iso and i've kind of focused on uh, not the first tree that i see but the second one in and i f11 yeah okay i'm going to get a good bit of depth of field here but it it's got quite a nice soft texture to it so i want to see how that looks as an so i'm using this as an experiment basically uh, and then i'll play around with the aperture and i'll see which one i think looks best that will probably change though you know when i come back um once everything changes here for autumn i think that that will change and it will look a little bit different, but you no, know, worth giving it a go. What a great day I've had today, just wandering around the Forest of Dean, exploring new areas, looking for compositions. It's been utterly fantastic. I've really enjoyed myself. Uh, it's been a really good day. I'm so pleased I come out. Uh, even though the weather, the sun is too harsh, the wind was getting up earlier, all of those things are not conducive to good photography, but that's not the point. The point is I'm here scouting this place out ready for autumn. And the more I get out and have a look, the more I'll know this area, the more I'll feel a connection with it, and the more I'll be able to find those compositions. And I'm starting to get a good list of locations now uh, that are sort of go-to compositions for when autumn really kicks in. So yeah, um, I just wanted to talk about planning really as well, you know, just to finish off today, because yeah, I'm out scouting. I'm planning ahead, ready for autumn. And a lot of people have, have talked to me about planning in particular and how important it is. And I, I completely agree, planning is very important. But the problem with it is you can really plan yourself into a box. And when that happens, you have no flexibility. Okay, so you've got to guard against that. Yes, by all means, check the weather, check where you're going, you know, and plan on that front. But quite often I like a bit of spontaneity and I like just to get out there and be surprised and discover new areas without too much planning. And, and you know, sometimes that's what real adventure is about. That's it for today. I'm gonna to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. It means so much to me. 
Uh, those who subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, give it a subscribe, give this a like, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. That's all I can ask. Till next time, see you later.